I have the privilege of going to so many events where the culture of so many of the different communities that make up this great city are on display. And if you combine that with one other thing that is a part of the soul of this city, and something that we underestimate and underappreciate, and that is our parks, you have something that is going to be a very potent combination in the years to come. The utmost example of how arts can be publicly accessible. So think vaudeville in Etobicoke, street dancing in North York, Caribbean carnival music in Scarborough, theater, film, dance, music, all kinds of family-friendly programming all over Toronto. And all of it completely free. I'm really excited about all the pieces being put together so that it sounds more like a symphony of color, movement and sound. I think this is an awesome program. You get families, get communities together. There's a lot of activities for different kids to do with their families and it's a different way for them to get different exposure. So I think it's an awesome program. Supporting such an organization uh, is something that you would do to support your city and your community and that's why I would um, urge everyone to be part of those initiatives and support them. I just love this park and this is the best event that ever happened to me. And just keep on going, come back next year! Not everybody can come to art. Art should come to you and it should come to you where you are, where you live. I would like to see something like this in Toronto more often. I think it's cool that they came to a park where a lot of people come, especially at this time of day, and play to show people how that music sounds and maybe introduce people to that kind of music. 2016 was simply the pilot year for Arts in the Parks, but we're thrilled. Going forward, it's a big city, there are a lot of people, they want arts in their parks, so we will be doing more with your help. Thank you.